Well, after the triple digit temperatures decrease and we all come blinking back out in the sunlight in the fall, a lot of folks wonder what they can do in their beds during the fall to help prepare them for winter, to get them ready for spring. And there are a few shoulds and shouldn'ts. And one of the main things on the shouldn't list is aggressive nitrogen fertilizing and aggressive pruning, both of which can stimulate uh, the plant to want to put uh, a whole lot of new tender young leaves um, on the plant, which once we get down into below freezing nights will almost invariably get be killed by the cold. Um, not the whole plant usually won't be killed, but any tender new growth definitely will. And it's not good for the plant. It usually won't just outright kill it, um, but in many cases you're using up energy reserves that could be used otherwise. And over time, this can be detrimental to the plant and can cause the plant to die. So I wouldn't do any aggressive pruning in fall. I'd save that for late winter, very, very early spring. Um, another thing we do in our beds in the fall is consider using a fall and winter blooming annual. Around here, these are periwinkles. As soon as they start looking fantastic, it's about time to pull them out. Um, it's the general rule in North Texas. What we normally advise are pansies, violas, cabbage, kale, um, Dusty Miller, um, a few others that will look good all winter long, but a little flashing warning sign. Um, those are also very attractive to rabbits. So we do recommend if you're going to put out annual color, I would strongly consider putting it in a raised container often near the door, you're going to get the most visual impact out of that. The amount of color that you have to use to get that impact is very minimal and often we can get it out of the reach of rabbits um, and so we get the most bang for our buck on that. As far as fertilizing goes, for most um, uh, homeowners I would recommend that you stick with a basic organic fertilizer in your beds. Um, it is, uh, it's a good um, addition to a healthy soil it won't push too much growth. It's usually, these organic fertilizers are usually fairly low in nitrogen. Um, and you can do any of the micronutrients like magnesium, potassium, uh, iron. Um, those are always good to add in the fall because they're taken into the plant. If the plant doesn't use it, they're often stored and available for spring. Um, just for, I would follow the, the, the directions on the, on the bag or the label on those things. And finally, one of the best things we can do in fall is mulching and watering. We'll often start getting rain again in the fall, but it's usually not enough to make up for how brutal the summers were. One of the best things you can do to protect your plants from a freeze is ensure that they have adequate moisture. It's one of the main things, um, is making sure that they have adequate moisture. A three-inch layer of mulch can also help conserve that moisture. It beautifies the beds. Um, makes everything look really nice and is a fantastic um, uh, thing to do for, uh, for fall and winter bed care. Keep it moist um, by, uh, by watering appropriately and with an insulating layer of, of mulch over the top of the soil. If anybody has any questions, feel free to throw them in the comments. I'm happy to do a separate video or dig into any one of those things a little bit deeper. And as always, if you like this kind of content, share it with a friend. You're really helping us out. Thank you.